X2 M1 or the Glowforge Aura, you're so confused, you don't know which one to pick, I got you. Both are diode lasers and both cannot cut clear acrylics, they can only cut opaque and dark acrylic. However, when it comes to wattage, the M1 is 10 watt, but the Glowforge is 6 watt. And while both machines can do laser engraving and cutting, only the X2 M1 can do rotary engraving, so you cannot engrave on tumblers with the Glowforge Aura, you can only do flat engraving. It also seems that the M1 can cut thicker wood unlike the Aura. Now the Glowforge works best with Glowforge's proof grade materials which in my opinion makes it a little bit expensive on the long run because you end up getting a 12 by 20 plywood sheet for $19.99. It costs about $5 for a 12 by 12 plywood sheet on the x website. The machine sizes is very similar but I think the Glowforge is a little bit bigger. The working area for the x M1 is 15 by 12 however for the Glowforge Aura it's 12 by 12 but the Glowforge Aura has a pass-through window so that way you could do a longer project. You'll need the x -Tool Creative Space to operate the M1 and now it's available on iPad and Android but for the Glowforge Aura you'll need the Glowforge Print app and it comes with a premium subscription just like Cricut Access. Now the Glowforge Aura is about $1200 and there is a filter add-on for an extra $400 but the M1 is $850 for the machine only and $1240 for the machine rotary engraving and some materials as well. I think I have a favorite already and some of you might know but what about you?